you know, Nito, solid can main, you know, definitely throwing out, like, what the Shotos can do. Mm -hmm. And then Rhino Dude, definitely one of the more, like, solid Samus players yeah, in our region. I've actually not seen uh, Rhino Dude play before, so right. it's going to be interesting for me. But yeah, Nito, he's also been playing Terry lately, correct? Right. Okay. So... And again, this is where you can see, like, maybe, like, some of the more underrated characters. Because I know our second and our seventh seeds didn't show up, and that's why Rhino Dude was able to have, like, an easier time in bracket. He didn't have to fight any PR players or any, like, of the top ranked players. So, good again, let's see what he can do against, you know, Nito, who's pretty much PR. Oh, yeah, and I agree with you. I mean, and this also lets us see, like, in any hidden bosses that are hidden in the region, you know, right. especially when there's not a lot of PR players to so sign them. All right. I mean, I know, like, Rhino Dude is probably one of the best, if not the best, Samus player in our region. So, oh, okay. awesome. you know, I'd love to see him, like, do well in these matches, you know? Maybe if he takes this game, it'll be a confident boost for the future. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sure. I mean, I definitely feel like Samus is probably one of the most underrated characters in the entire game. Oh, like, yeah, people I mean, just like to say, like, oh, it's Samus, and all they have to experience Samus is the online wrong lever mm -hmm, Samus. Just who spamming who, out. Yeah, just. who, like, toggled the... the the lag switch, no, be like, oh, oh I'm gonna yeah. run like to the playing corner. Call of Duty right there, they just turn on lag switch. The yeah. lobby's lagging on that one. Yeah, let me let me run to the corner and fire missiles. Oh, you jumped at me, let me fare you in response. Oh, I'm just gonna shoot Ooh, charge shot nice across screen. But you know what? Right Samus there. is a lot more than that. Samus can do a whole lot more and can do a lot more crazy things. Yeah. And, and right I now we just saw him just trade with that up B, which is like really put him in an even st oh, and then there's a nice chain. Now Naito, like the reason I like it is he can just feel so comfortable. Because, look, she likes to be in the corner. But if she ever needs to roll, I mean, that auto turnaround. Ken just got the advantage. It's like he's able to feel comfortable with her spacing, I feel like. Um, right now, he's, you see, he's just catching the really laggy landings from her. Yeah. And the thing about the shoulders is that well, once they do get in, they can get in so much damage. And that's kind of where Samus lacks is that she has no real, like, Escape tools besides the up Yeah, much. so yeah. if they bait that out, then you saw right there, you can bait it out and you don't get a super hard punish off of it. You got the kill off of it. Yeah. So, but you know what? Only 90%, you know, it's still it's very, still very yeah. like late percent for Samus. So definitely can bring it back with a charge shot or like definitely like a good edge guard. Mm -hmm. So the name of the game is pretty much uh, how he's gonna, I mean, Ken doesn't have the greatest, rec I mean, he can mix it up. He has good recovery tools, but at the end of it, it is like horizontal. Right, it's very so, linear too. So he could have a good time just throwing him off stage. I just want to see more grabs from Ryan would yeah. probably, I mean. I'd actually. They are risky, but maybe some Zare. Oh, yeah, right see, when I say that, there we go. See, I feel like Zare would be the better mm -hmm. zoning tool just because mm -hmm. grabs, like if you whip it, then you have to face a Shoto. <laughs> sure you right oh, there, okay. not gonna be enough to kill, but. Yet again, that rage definitely did not help Rhino do that all there. Uh, he's nervous. He needs to get him at least mid stage right now. There we go. Why haven't I say that? All right. Yeah, sneaking in that back area. You know what? The 119 rage definitely down, but not out, especially because Samus has Ooh, all these look, combos. That's where he's oh. trying to. See, he's trying to just bait the poor recovery. He's trying to take advantage at the right time, but now he's he needs to get center again. Anyway. Yet again, the Shoryu out yeah. of shield. You know, it was one of those things where, like, you saw him go for the throw off stage, and I saw in the future where, right. he, uh, where he down aired him off of that <laughs> Tatsu, and it, it was just going to be a total game stolen. Uh, what do you think he's going to go? Just like a bigger stage, right? I wonder what their bands are. I mean, on. definitely I could see oh, Kalos, see, yeah. That's a good one right there. Yet again, Samus wants space. Samus wants to be able to, like, run away and, like, mm -hmm. not have to deal with the close to close combat. No, so, I think that's a good stage for Samus. Yeah, right. I'm surprised. Like, I think he might maybe. Oh, uh, I don't know. Does that make a difference? I never know the Dark Samus and Samus thing. Apparently, the only difference is that the rolls is like slightly different in the sense that Dark Samus has like a one or two frame better roll. I also and heard. Um, I heard uh, her charge shot. Supposedly, it's like a frame faster because she uses one arm, while Samus uses two arms when she blasts. Did you ever see that? The I animation? know. I know it hits lower. Yeah. So. Oh. Oh, that was nice. See, look. Oh, that was nice. He just got to use the wall jump on right. that. So we're seeing some. He's actually boxing him out really well. Oh, uh, yeah. and, and right when I say that. Oh, well, he's still alive on that. All right. Not Big enough. stage. Yeah, not enough Dallas. stage. And yet again, Samus is a pretty heavy character. Floaty, but heavy. But oh. not heavy yeah, enough no, to live no, that. No. He's doing the stanky leg right there. Is, is that what I. Is that why the tag is, right? Because of the up air, I'm assuming? Right. That's funny. Oh. 
getting a great use of tools, using your wall jump to kind of make it back. I, I really think he, he just needs to get out of the corner. Just stay mid if he's at that high damage at a certain right. point. Be able to just, or knock him off. I, yeah, it's going to be hard to get that grab. He's right. just really out of him. And that's kind of the hard thing is that, like, at the mid range, you know, Ken can just throw out the Hadouken and kind of bust oh. out all the missiles that come out to him. Really only has to worry about charge shot. So as long as he's sitting back and reacting to whatever Samus does, he doesn't really have to worry about the charge shot. Right, right, right. See, there it is. He can't even roll in because he just auto turns. It's such a funny mechanic. I, I, I don't know. Where. It's me, but it's, it's cool. Yet again, Nito's just looking for this ledge trap. Like, oh, reading the wrong. jump, but you know, not gonna find it. Not gonna get punished because of the platform there on Kalo is, yeah, working against that, uh, Final Dude. Right now it's looking like he's feeling comfortable already with the He's just in his zone the whole time. Yeah, I haven't even seen him have space to even shoot I haven't even seen him missile this match. It's just been too hard for him. He's just been in it. I mean, usually, like, once characters get in against Samus, you know, yeah, she just she just rolls away. But, like, you can't roll in just because Ken will be like, oh, let me turn around. Turn around yeah. <laughs> so. And rolling away is just like, oh, you're rolling away? Well, let me just catch your roll by dashing forward and down something you it's more. Bad dilemma, yeah. I feel like... I think Samus, you know how she balls up when she jumps? I feel like even that was helping him escape a little bit, you know? So doesn't she seem like... Isn't she smaller in the air than... I, mean, I, don't know if I don't know if it's a noticeable difference, of right. course, but yeah, yeah. Oh, you saw Ryan yeah, trying to oh for reversal, yeah, but you know what? Uh, it's done. done. Yeah. Right. You, you know he had to make a play right there, and I, I respect the attempt. <laughs> yeah. Wait, well, is it 3 out of 5 on this? He has a 3 out of 5 at Sunday. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, okay. I didn't know that. Well, I don't know. You're right. Like, it, Do you think at this point he's got to kind of figure it out? or? I mean, uh, at this point, it's just... You gotta play as best as you can. He's you going back, back, back to Samus, you know? Maybe that's the good mojo he needs. You know? Honestly, if I was Rhino Dude, I would just be praying that my Uppy Out of Shield could beat any of Ken's approach options. He was using it a little bit, like he was actually canceling some of the the Jab Jab Uppy when it was like a little too slow, but then I guess it is risky still, because look, we just saw that when he did it too early, he was already gonna start. I mean, luckily it was low enough. I mean, at least he's getting out of the combos, but you know, you gotta uh, question whether or not the air dodge just would have tacked on an extra couple he's, percent. He's really just pushing him on. He's making him feel so uncomfortable. I'll say nice and I want him. There we go. Up air, there's the other up air. Not gonna be able to extend off the platform, but no catches the double jump. You know, he's okay, off stage. So now he's cooked. Okay, like, so he's got. What I'm trying to see more is. Um, I'm just, I don't know, do you think it's, I mean, I know you're saying it's risky to do a grab, but I mean, at least attempt one here and there when you're at like a good enough damage, because I mean, I want to see him throw him off a little more. I know it is risky, but. See, I'd like to see him like wait and shield, you know, wait for him to like press a button on his shield and then just up it as soon as he lands, you know? True. And like if he's not approaching, then just throw out the missiles, throw out the charge shots, you know? If he jumps at you and you know he's jumping at you close range, you just fair out his shield. Right, here he's. I mean, he's keeping this game really close this time. Yeah. Well, this could be, you know, the fact that it's close quarters means yeah. that, you know, Ito can't really box him. Did that in. really? It's Star KO for that forward tilt, right? Forward smash. That was forward oh, smash. that was a forward smash. That was, forward smash, that was yeah. fast. I, I honestly, I don't even see. I don't really see a lot of Ken play. Oh, those jabs in. I think because of the down tilt. Here we go, the ledge trap. Not gonna be able to find anything, you know. But gets yeah, it up there, but not gonna be able to connect. Oh, can can Zerda is Zerda grab true with uh, Samus? I don't think so. No, it's not like as quick or no. Because there's the landing lag. I'm pretty sure by the time the Zer Zer like hits center is over, you can just roll away. Uh, oh, there's a beat. It's still not enough. Yeah. It's Kemp's pretty heavy too, huh? Yeah. You know, just DIing and just living for so long, you know, 210%. Brian did just oh. can't find the kill. And now he has in. all this rage. You get this. Right. Yeah. And you can see that, like, he's trying to you know, go for charge shot, go for missile, try to find something that will kill, but oh. gets gets the down, the smash. down smash after yeah. uh, preemptive above B, but still. Good. Oh! Kind of like that little trick. That little hit. Right, that was cute, but you know what? Uh, Nito's kind of got him really punished, yeah. Yeah. 
Might have worked on a character that wasn't a shoulder or Terry, but <laughs> you know what? Like when you can auto turn around, no mix up like that have Don't a lot less it. value. Exactly. And she already has Samus already has a slow roll already, so it just seems it, it just really redundant to roll in, I guess, at this point. Which kind of makes it unfortunate because. Oh, what? What? Well, gonna say that? You just see Samus, you know, trying to set up a wall, going in the corner. Honestly, there's a grab. You see, now he's got him in an uncomfortable spot. Oh, I boom. No, I, he had the high recovery. Oh, I thought he was going to cover it. And you know what? I feel like maybe Ken was going a little bit higher than he was expected, or like lower than he expected, actually. And so he just wasn't prepared to just punish the Tatsu. Yeah, honestly, this is my first time seeing Rhino do, and I'm a fan. I, I, where does he usually play? Does he usually come to once in a night? He comes occasionally. He's like a Inland Empire warrior. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. This is awesome. All these little traps again. <laughs> making Samus look. And you know, Anito air dodging guy. into the blast zone. So you know what? Oh, there no. it is. Yeah, I got the DI mix up on the up B. And that'll be a quick 3-0 for Nito. I, I mean, he put up a really good fight at the last match, honestly. Right. I, I mean, definitely, like, games... Games one and two were close, mm -hmm. like in the sense that like it could have swung either way if Rhino did could just grab momentum. But you know, Nito just had.